All right, now we have a new chapter of Dr. Stone. The last one ended on a very, very big surprise. I thought I kind of understood the pace of the battle. I thought it would be something like, first we have this little tunnel drilling arc with Chrome in charge. It's like a, a measured success. Maybe they rescued Gen. They get a sense of what the enemy's working on. And then they're like, oh, geez, like we got a lot to work to do if we're going to be able to survive this next assault. Then we get the air arc. The aircraft carrier comes online, Senku wakes up and kind of takes command again for the final showdown with Zeno. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, after talking about it a bit and, and uh, reading Maddie Moon, I believe that's their username. I'm so sorry if I got that wrong. Um, reading their comments, I was like, okay, I, I can see the, the trajectory of the arc now. And, and I was quite excited for that. But then, even though the tunneling thing isn't finished, even though there's all these other unresolved plot threads, we're getting what I thought would be the climax, dog fighting and Senku in the, the saddle and stuff. Uh, right now, just happening right now, uh, Senku is <laughs> out of bed, somewhat concerningly, um, strapped in uh, to this extremely dangerous mission. I don't know why he has to come. Isn't uh, Suri R Risu, uh like a fantastic pilot and probably could handle this on his own without rescuing their single greatest asset, the brain of Senku? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just confused. Okay, let's see. They launched the plane. This is a badass shot, to be sure. I, I really like the way it's the, the speed of it is depicted. It's, it's, it's weaving trajectory. Plane versus plane. Like, there's a lot to like here, but, I mean... Why is this happening? <laughs> why why in the world is this happening? It's a dogfight, an airplane showdown. Okay, so I just get if they lose this fight, we'll be shot full of falls from the sky. Yeah, they're really putting up everything on this fight. Why would yeah, why would Senku jump from his sick bed into the cockpit? Yes, Dr. Luna, I would also like to know. Senku's holding a machine gun. Holding a gun they've got. Okay. So Senku is just holding a machine. What the? It's better than a club. Any runs we lack machine gun, so probably we approach real estate and pump is full of less. Okay. Alright. Stanley is just ready to fight. Where he definitely has every reason to think he has the overwhelming advantage. Yeah, this is crazy. This is friggin' crazy. I, I, if there's some like long, convoluted secret logic behind this, I'll be so impressed and satisfied. If it's just because Senku is the main character, and they knew that if he was up there, he would have some cool dialogue and stuff, I guess that's fine. But this really does seem dumb. <laughs> uh, okay. Flying around in clouds. Really beautiful shots. Jeez, I, I can still remember when they first took off in the hot air balloon. I thought that was pretty good for the stone world. And now, like World War One level technology at least, swirling around up there. I think a tag with Stanley. Looks like they're just circling around each other. The battle between fighter pilots is the race to be the first to lock onto the enemy. Get behind the enemy, you win. Okay, that makes sense. I remember that from Monkey Dogfight. The Super Monkey Ball mini game where you play as little monkeys in planes. So they're circling around and chasing each other. <laughs> uh, who is this guy again? I don't remember this character, sorry. He's a manga artist? Who drew a military series before? I see. So he's providing our, our commentary this time. Jeez. Senku, come on. You just were in the hospital bed. Okay, so that's why he's here. To fix the plane real time. Because they knew it would inevitably break. <laughs> and I guess they didn't have the luxury of saying, okay, well, let's not dogfight until I have the plane in tip-top condition. Because Stanley just flew in with his own plane already, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess that makes more sense. Senku is here to fix the plane as they fly it. Taking our private plane out for shopping trips, but this guy's an ace fighter pilot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He said that like in the way that somebody's like, "Well, I only rode my bike to school." <laughs> this guy's a pro cyclist. It's just another level. <laughs> we probably lose an assertive context of speed. Well, Stanley's faster than us, and we're gonna use that against it. Ah. 
you know, you turn around really quick like this and get in behind him as he rockets past. That kind of thing. How does one pull an emergency brake in midair? How did they do that? How did they brake in midair? What does that mean? Because you can stop the propeller from spinning, but then you still, you know, just drift forward. It's not like that actually changes the momentum you have. Um, maybe like a counter propeller? Uh, suddenly it shoots momentum in the opposite direction? Something like that? I don't know. Causing sailing to overshoot like that. They swap positions and hold up from behind, allowing them to walk on. Uh, ooh, he's using 3D. This is like, you know, for so long, the cliche with like plane fights and movies and stuff is that they seem to be taking place on a flat plane. And they would maneuver around each other like this because that's very easy to shoot in terms of a film. It's very easy to follow for the audience and stuff. And then I can remember like a few movies, um, uh, Star Trek, the first motion picture, I believe, or one of the Star Trek movies had a scene like this, where suddenly one of the planes goes like up or down. They, they use the, the Y axis. And then everybody else is asking why, why didn't we use the Y axis first? And now that's becoming such a thing that it, it's almost cliche itself. Um, but I think that's what Stanley's doing here. Oh, oh, it's even more nuanced than that. He climbs up super steep. So this went down immediately inside the enemy's turning arc. Oh, you could do something like this in Star Fox 64, I think. So. Okay, cool. I'm learning a lot. Let's resemble that of a yo-yo. This offensive thing needs to up to high speed yo-yo. Stanley has plenty of tricks of his feet. I know. Bless. Desire them. Those moves. I desire skills like yours. Mmm. 3D chess match where inches don't stand a chance. He's locked on. They're going to have to do some real evasive maneuvering to not just get Swiss cheesed right now. I want to join you someday. I like that. I'll greet you in hell when I join you someday. It sounds cooler than see you in hell. See you in hell is like too cliche. Now you forget what it means. The idea that we're both going to hell. It's badass. Crab feed Stanley, if you hadn't backed me in a corner, I would have gone my whole life without attempting this death defying midair trick. Oh, what are you about to do? Risui, what are you about to do? Ooh, a super tight flip. Just flipping around. On vertical, standing upright. Looks like they flipped up the Cobra maneuver. Through the plane. Stall and drop from the sky. I've seen fighter jets do that at uh, air shows. I've been to a couple of air shows. And I remember seeing them. They go straight up. And then they just fall. And kind of like a leaf falling. They just go... Like, like at a certain point, they left themselves drift horizontally again. And then just take off at full speed. I don't know. I don't know how the planes work. It's crazy. It doesn't look real. It just looks like something, like a kid playing with a plane in the sky. But it's real. It's, it's very uncanny. You know, I have very negative associations of fighter jets, war, the, the cost of war, the fact that billions of dollars are being put into these things instead of literally anything else, the injustice of, of all of the wars I've been alive to see. But they are pretty friggin' cool. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> okay. So what are they gonna do? I'm feeling percent truly relaxing the power when all we had was your fuel. Fuel. Uh huh. They have their own fuel. These are stands. Japan might not have the crazy oil output of your continent. Make it up with ingenuity and desperate measures. Cool, cool. Video games train my right hand. So I'm ready with a combo move with your science and true. How the tables have turned. He just pulls out the friggin' yo gun. That's all they have. They <laughs> 
They just get one shot. I guess they're going to try to disable the plane with just one shot. Or maybe they have multiple shots now. I guess they could have fully reloaded the gun. But there's not much to it. <laughs> it's not a machine gun, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what it can do. The yo gun. That's what I'm calling it now because he's freaking obsessed with it. <laughs> Alright, let's look forward to the next chapter. That was pretty fun. Lots of dogfight and action. Makes me want to play monkey dogfight. <laughs> see you then.